I tell people the truth. I've lost a lot of friends, let me tell you. I've even lost um, people that were supposed to be more like a sister in Christ or a brother in Christ. No longer walk with me. No longer want a fellowship with me. No longer want to be my friend or even talk to me. Because I stand my ground. And I will tell everyone. That's the mark on the forehead. That's the mark on the right hand. I'm not judging or condemning anyone. If you took it, you've condemned yourself. I'm not the judge. God is the judge. But I've got to warn. I've got to shout it from the rooftops. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Tell them. Tell people the truth. We've got to share the gospel. And we've got to share God's warnings too. And I know my face might look serious, but I'm saying this in love. I've got to warn. I've got to tell. What Holy Spirit has shown me, I've got to share it with people. So if you have not done that or that, just know perilous times are coming worse than what we're ever going to see. And if you're still here on the earth, I beg you, in the name of Jesus, no matter what they do, no matter what they do or threaten you with, don't do that. Don't do that. They're both one and the same. Just different application does the same thing. Desolation, plagues, abomination, cut off. <sighs> all right, you all get it. I love you all in Jesus' most glorious name. Stand strong, stand firm, hold on to Jesus, repent of all your sins, confess them to Jesus. Ask him to forgive you and he will. Hold on to him, he's at the door. Tomorrow's not promised for you or for me. I might not wake up tomorrow, but praise God, I'm going to wake up in his presence. Hallelujah. Better be born again. Okay, I love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, for those of you who are still on the fence, I'm more than happy. To um, show you videos, prove it without a shadow of the doubt. To pray and ask Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear. So many people are so stubborn and unteachable, and they just can't believe and don't want to believe what that thing was or what that thing is. They don't want to see it. They don't want to believe it because they either done it or they have someone that they love or care about that did and they just can't imagine they don't even want to imagine what they're going to turn into and where they're going to go so um yeah. our hope is in jesus hold on to him love you all god bless